Hey guys, it's Dr. Kate Lambert here from my kitchen table. And since being home with my three and five year old over the last couple of weeks, we've been doing a ton of science experiments. Uh, one of the ones that they were the most excited about was this one here because they got to be my snack testers. And we are looking at to see how long certain foods and snacks will last on their teeth. Uh, first, I wanted though to ask them a couple of questions about why it's important to keep our teeth clean. Why do we brush our teeth? Sugar bugs be out. To get all the sugar bugs out. What kind of things do the sugar bugs like to eat? Sugar. Like, give me an example. Sugar things get stuck in your teeth and too much sugar bugs come and they eat all of it. You get a cavity. Yes. And what, how do we take care of our teeth? How do we clean the sugar bugs off? Brush your teeth. And okay. what do we do after we brush? Yes. So now that we've talked a little bit about why it's important to brush and floss our teeth, uh, we are gonna start our experiment. What we are gonna do is give Ransom, who just turned five, a handful of goldfish, and then Fletcher, who is three, an Oreo to eat. Uh, and then at different intervals of time in between playing, we are going to check their teeth. I'm gonna snap some photos so that we can see just how much or little of these sticky foods remain at each uh, particular time interval. So I just gave the kids their snack. Ransom got a handful of goldfish and Fletcher got an Oreo and I let them eat them up at the table. As you can see, they very much enjoyed it. Here are their teeth immediately after the snack. As you can see, all those dried carbohydrates are smashed into the deep grooves of the biting surfaces and in between the teeth. And then we went out um, to the living room to play for about 10 minutes. Here are their teeth after 10 minutes time. As you can see, not much has changed. There are still a ton of carbohydrates, which we all know the bacteria then breaks down into sugar, still trapped in the grooves of their teeth. So we went outside and played for another 10 minutes, and then I was gonna check on them again. Here are their teeth at the 20 minute mark. A lot of the goldfish have come out of Ransom's teeth by now, but you can still see it deep in the groove. Fletcher still has a lot of Oreos trapped in her back molars as well. We continued to play for another half an hour during this science experiment. When I finally checked again around the hour mark, Ransom's teeth were pretty much back to normal and I wasn't quick enough to snap a non-blurry photo. But Fletcher did let me get one more and as you can see that while there's a lot less Oreo after this time, there's still some present in the deepest part of her cruise. Uh, I hope y'all learned something uh, about truly how long sticky foods can stay on the teeth and can understand obviously the importance of brushing and flossing after foods like this. One of the unique things about goldfish crackers, pretzels, Oreos, um, other similar snacks is that because they are dry carbohydrates, not only do they break down into sugar in the mouth, which means the bacteria enjoys it as a snack as well, but because they are dry, it takes your saliva that much longer to clear the sugar, which means that the bacteria is using it to make acid long after you've finished your snack. Um, I hope you can show this video to your kids or even recreate it at home with them checking their teeth in the mirror or you snapping photos um, every 10 minutes or so afterwards. I'd recommend an Oreo if you're going to do that just because the darker color shows up that much more clear than the orangish color that um, the goldfish are. Uh, and I hope that it helps to guide some good snacking choices for your family as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day.